Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back to episode 10 of modding. So we have completed our little small step in creating ourselves an item, an ore, a uh, tool set, and an armor set. Though we are not done with our episodes, I'm still going to be uploading more episodes. We're going to add in blocks, we're going to add in a lot of other cool things. Uh, flowers maybe <laughs> but let's go ahead and wrap up our mod just for today you know since a lot of people are asking me how do you publish your mod how do you let your friends use your mod so this is the publishing part this is this is really easy you know there's no need to make myself a video for this since it's really easy but I like to inform you guys how to do this so what you need to do is go into your moddings folder where you have set up MCP so go here to your moddings folder and just like where you decompiled your uh, minecraft.jar this time we have to recompile your minecraft.jar since we have modded and coded in a lot of things you have to recompile so look for the bat or if you're on Mac uh, you're gonna look for the sh file but for us we're gonna look for the windows batch file so let's look for recompile which should be right here not reformat recompile so we have to run a recompile dot bat before doing anything so double click that and there we go now it's going to be recompiling everything putting everything together adding in some patches and doing a lot of other cool things that will make uh, all of this work together and especially if you're going to add in more code uh, it's best to recompile because you just want everything to work together uh, if just in case something doesn't save then it will recompile so it's cleaning up the bin and recompiling so while this is finished, no, it's actually finished. So now it is done. So it says right here, done. I always get this warning. There's something up with my recording that I always get this dumb warning. Kind of frustrates me now. But it says right here, done in 11.17 seconds and says press any key. So now let's press any key. Now what we need to do is run this reopstificate. Where is it at? It's right here. Reopstificate. I think that's how you say it. I'm, I apologize if I said it wrong since I clearly say everything wrong such as tiaria i can't even say tiaria how do you guys say that tiaria tiaria uh, you know, i don't even know so right here you're going to run a reopstificate and you're just going to double click that you're just going to let this run and it's going to look and it's going to search for your source and see what files were edited uh, what files um you know have changed such as the enum tool material so it, remember it's not really good to edit base classes like what everyone says i understand this but um the reason why I had to edit a base class is because I was working on the trios gem and there was just so much classes but um, sooner I'm going to show you guys uh, how to make your own uh, enum tool material uh, other than the base class so there's no need to edit the base class so we're going to fix that so this could be compatible with a lot of other tool mods so here we are and now what we need to do is I'm going to just leave them I'm just going to click that okay so once this is done it's going to say press any key so press any key now what we need to do is look for the folder that generated called reop. Okay, here's the folder. It's called rebuff whatever Rio BF best friends forever. I don't know what it says, but uh, you're just gonna grab this folder and just drag it to your desktop. Doesn't really matter. And uh, let's go ahead and exit this off because this is our source right here. This is our class. May I say this is our class right here. So it took all our Java scripts and turned it into classes. So now if you go into this reops folder. You're gonna see Minecraft server and Minecraft. We did not mod a server. We modded a uh, Minecraft.jar. So go into the Minecraft folder, and here are your classes. So mod underscore Minecraft, mod underscore MC Armor, your green block, your item, and and this is the uh, Enum tool material. So sooner I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own Enum tool material for you not to have this base class. Okay, so we now have our class. Now we're still missing something. We're not quite done here. Uh, we did add in images may I say sprites so we have to go back to our moddings folder go into bin go into minecraft go into oh actually this is it so we are here and we did add an armor so what we need to do is highlight this hold control and highlight the items and that's it and move over these two folders that we created in our modding bin minecraft and you're gonna drag it into your minecraft folder you this little uh, reopsif Kate Minecraft folder okay so there we go that's basically it uh, it's best to control and copy this so let me go ahead and copy this and just paste it back into my Minecraft folder there's no need to move the whole thing you know so just copy it so just right click your armor and items and copy it into your Minecraft folder okay so we have done that and there we go this is all you need so if you put all this into a zip you could go ahead and give it to friends and they could be able to play with it so what we're gonna do is let's create a new folder so right click new folder I'm gonna show you how to make a zip or a RAR uh, type of uh, WinRAR so you know what I mean 
let's make a new folder and call it whatever you like. So I'm going to call mine the dark awesome mod. So I totally failed at spelling that. So the dark awesome mod. Okay. So this is what people are going to see when they download. It's going to say dark awesome mod. They're going to go into there and it's going to have all our classes. So just highlight all of these files, armor, items, all that stuff and drag it all into your uh, folder that you created that best uh, explains your mod. So let's do that. Exit this off. And now our mod is located in this folder. We're going to add this to a zip or a RAR file. So if you go in there, here's all your items and stuff. So now what we need to do is just right click this and if you have WinRAR it will be super easy. So right click this, since I have WinRAR I'm going to go ahead and use this and it's going to say right here add to archive. So go ahead and click that if you are using a, uh, you know, if you're using WinRAR. If not then I don't know how you're going to do this. So here it is. We don't want this to be a RAR. We want this to be a zip since now Mac could use it. So uh, Windows and Mac could use this. So zip. If it's a RAR I'm, I'm pretty sure Mac can't really download it. But um, go ahead and click zip down here and just press OK. And there you go. So now your mod is now in a zip. So now if you open that up, you go into your dark awesome mod. Here is your files. You just highlight these files, drag it into your Minecraft thought jar, and make sure that you add in mod loader. Since we did mod with mod loader, you're going to need mod loader in order for this mod to work. So let's go ahead and install our mod. I'm going to go to Google and search mod loader. Okay, so now I have fast forward and grab myself mod loader. So here's my dark awesome mod and here is my uh, mod loader. I should have called it the green awesome mod, not dark. Okay, so let's go ahead and install my mod. You're going to go here to start. Search your program file. You're going to type in percent app data percent. And for Windows XP users, you should see here run. And you run percent app data percent. And it should take you up here to the roaming folder. Click on the roaming folder. And of course, you should see dot Minecraft in the very top. You're going to go into your dot Minecraft folder. You're going to see bin resources saved and everything else. Go into your bin folder. You're going to right click your Minecraft.jar that's located in your bin folder. Open with WinRAR or any sense of opener. You're going to open up your Minecraft.jar with WinRAR. Go ahead and open that up and move it aside. The first thing you have to do, of course, before installing any mods is to delete meta inf. You have to delete meta inf. So right click meta inf and delete files. Say yes and delete meta inf. Now meta inf is gone. Now we can continue. What we're going to do is open up mod loader. Since you do need mod loader, you're going to open that up and let's go ahead and move that aside. Let me move that aside. You're going to highlight all the files from modloader.zip and simply drag it into the Minecraft.jar site. Add on your face, press OK, and you are done with mod loader. Go ahead and exit that off and move it aside. Now you need your dark awesome mod. So go ahead and open up your dark awesome mod, whatever you called it. Go ahead and open that up. Go into your folder that you created and you should see all your files. Just highlight all those files and drag it into your Minecraft.jar. Add and replace, press OK, and you are done. Exit off everything, you are done. Now you could play your you know, game with this mod. You could share your mod anywhere you like. But you have to note that you have to make sure that you have created all the spritz and all this code by yourself. So uh, let's say if you happen to use somebody else's pickaxe and you didn't ask for permission, you're going to get in trouble. So make sure that everything you've created on your own so you don't want to be using, let's say, uh, I, I don't know, uh, more swords, you know, sword. You don't want to be using other people's swords. So just make sure that you can't get in trouble with all that stuff. So just best to make your own sword. So let's go into our world. And if I check my inventory, I should be able to see my awesome items. And here we go. Here are my uh, green, you know, armor and all that good stuff. And you could install too many items because I know your mod's going to work with too many items. And you could install any mod you like as long as they don't really add in more tools such as, uh, I don't know what other tools, mods there are. So the reason why I'm saying this is because we did edit the base class of uh, Enum Tool Material. So I will fix that and I'll show you guys how to make your own... Uh, Enum tool material so you can install this mod with other mods that uh, you know edit the Enum tool materials as well and that's like really big huge uh, mods as well such as Infcraft. Infcraft adds in a ton of tools and all that stuff and they can edit the base class of Enum tool material so we have to fix some stuff and we'll get into this in the next series or we'll get into this in the next episodes of my modding series so Guys, hopefully this will work out for you. This actually looks pretty cool. It reminds me of Voxel Sniper if you ever use that. It actually looks like it because it actually, it's like all boxy and stuff. Okay, so thank you guys so much. If you guys enjoy my little small modding series, uh, feel free to leave a like. These cows are annoying me. Hey, look, I have my green sword. What do you know? Oh, he's, ah, oops. Wow, that wasn't strong at all. It, it totally, that was quick. I, I don't understand. 
Okay, so anyways guys, hopefully you guys will enjoy your own mods. Be sure to post it all over the Minecraft forums if you like, and be sure to post it uh, in Planet Minecraft. Go ahead and feel free to share it as you like. And always remember, if you want me to review your mod, make sure that uh, it meets kind of my expectations, may I say, because I know I'm going to be getting a lot of requests from a lot of people telling me to review your mod. Make sure that it kind of fits my expectations. I will have that linked in the description for you to see, because I can't really review a mod that just adds in one set of tools and one set of armor. I like unique mods, so if you ever created a unique mod, I will go ahead and review it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you.